by our artistic director, Rob Melrose, and written by none other than our resident playwright, Andrew Saito. And the play is Stegosaurus, so welcome. That's, she'll read, um, she'll read the real title. Yeah. She'll read the real title. She'll read the real title. Yes. Um, Andrew has been with us at Cutting Ball for a little bit over a year now. Today, tomorrow is, today is the end of my very first year. Today is the end of my very first year. Happy anniversary. Yes. Yeah. Happy birthday after. Um, and his play, Stegosaurus, continues Andrew's now tradition of blending beautiful, poetic language with the bizarre and uncouth. <laughs> As you will see later tonight, I don't want to speak uh, really any more about Stegosaurus because you'll see the play just momentarily and it will speak for itself much better than I could. Uh, quick reminder, some logistics, uh, of course, uh, please turn off your phones. Uh, if you haven't already, please take it out, turn off your phone. Um, no texting. I was in a play last week and someone was sitting next to me texting and I was flabbergasted. It was terrifying. Um, <laughs> I, in the case of emergency, um, the exit out is just the way you came in, out those doors, down the stairs, and out onto Sutter Street. <coughs> Uh, if you like what you see tonight, uh, please come back again next week to Touch Theater again. We will be having a reading of Ondine, uh, directed by Rob Melrose and written by Kat Sherman, based on an old European myth of a water nymph and the night she falls in love with, and it's about dreaming um, and memory and uh, sleep deprivation. Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, before we get started, uh, final thanks. Uh, we'd like to thank Tide, Tide Theater for lending us this space. Uh, and we have this space because we are extending Ubuwa. If you have not seen Ubu already, uh, come by. Uh, that's why we're here tonight, because we have Ubu down in Cutting Ball. Uh, we'd like to thank the Flesh Shocker Foundation for funding uh, the Risk of This Festival and for Gretchen Brosius, our associate producer. Thank you so much for coming, everybody, and without further ado, Stegosaurus by Andrew Saito. They glitters like gold, immaculate. Look at how the sun shines off the cars, the satellite dishes, the spots of oil spilled on the road. What do you say, Claudie? Gonna make our millions? Shall I be a realist or an optimist? Whatever will nab us more. Today is the day. Tomorrow, that tomorrow I'll board that plane to Siberia. You won't get a direct flight, Sash. I'll need a direct flight for the way back. Can't let those bag handlers lay their mitts on my prize. Thought I was your prize. You are, Claudia. I refer to my other prize. They say those Arctic glaciers are melting. I need to hurry on up and catch my mammoth, otherwise she might get released from her frozen slumber and walk away. Rot is what she did. There will be no rotting. I will work my magic and my mammoth will be preserved for all posterity. Do you really think you'll find one? It was ordained in time immemorial. There is a hirsute Dumbo, preserved in some Siberian ice. My name emblazoned across her hide. I've scoured this continent far and wide. You scour this county of I've, that. I've my bobcat, my, my coyote, my groundhog. I need to gra graduate to a new level, my Georgia peach. This mammoth will be my masterpiece, my finest execution of taxidermy yet. Satch, why don't you set your sights on something a little closer to home? A jacuzzi in our backyard is a pipe dream. 
<laughs> Why do you always insist on bursting my bubble? Bubbles must be popped. <laughs> Same as zits. I told you to stop assaulting your cute But I like stash. popping my zits. It ruins your face. <laughs> Keep that up your face. It'll be pockmarked and scratched. Scratched. Cracked. 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 Cracked magazine. Crack pipe. <laughs> Ass crack. Cracker. Ritz cracker. Animal crackers, triscuits, and Cheez-Its, and saltines. Hey, Claudia, you know there's a crack in the ceiling? I've been pondering it of late. Have you considered evolving your pondering into some home repair? <laughs> That's an intriguing idea, but if I were to repair the crack, well, that would make it disappear. I'm glad we agree. And if that crack <laughs> disappeared, the resulting smooth surface would curtail my imagining. You see, the crack in the ceiling resembles the Amazon River in its shape, and I plant my ass on the linoleum, gaze at the fissured drywall, and say to myself, Satch, you are on a South American rainforest safari. Keep your eyes peeled for jaguars, and anacondas, and river dolphins. You're going to kill one of those river flippers, fix up its carcass real nice, and sell it at Sotheby's. Not Sotheby's. eBay, then. Satch. <laughs> what? Fix the crack. You think we should? I know we should. I suppose you have some wisdom. Get to it then. I will. In a minute. Well? Did you hear me? Yep. Then did you forget your line? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> then say it. <laughs> I'm waiting. For what? For the impulse. What impulse? You know, my motivation, my drive, <coughs> a spark. Oh, Jesus. Well, that's not my line. <laughs> <laughs> then what is? Hold on. I'm feeling a wiggle. Worm started. No, it's gone. Say your godforsaken line, or I will ram this porcupine up your ass crack. Ass crack! That's it. I'll cock the crack in the ceiling after I scratch my ass. Really, Sash? <clears throat> Darling, when the dilemma's between scratching the itch or patching the crack, I always choose to scratch over patch. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the itch. Try as I might, that itch won't go away. I, I stick a fork in my ear, jiggle it back and forth, I stick an ice pick up my... Where are you putting my ice pick? Nowhere, ma'am, nowhere at all. You know, lately, the itching ain't just in my orifices. <laughs> lately, I'm feeling the itch all over. I scratch, scratch, and it won't shoo. Is your body itching, Claudia? A bit. I wish I had talons so I could... Rip off my skin. It's just the heat. It's your like, clothes chafing your epidermis. I'd like to run around naked for a day. If you disrobe, you'll scare off any and all customers. I promise to re-robe once they appear. Oh, I just want to strip off my britches and rub up and down against a tree. For the good of the world, take an antihistamine instead. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? Medicine cabinet. You know that crack in the ceiling's looking a little bigger. Cock it. Okay. Satch picks something up from the tag sale. Ooh, this is a good one. Hey everyone, this is a good one. Not to be missed. George Bush Pez dispenser? Mm -hmm. It's okay, I guess. Well, that is not a winning sales pitch. Watch me. Ladies and germs, this 
George Bush Pest Dispenser is going to soar up. Ooh, ooh. What, 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 what is it? On the road over there, I see a, a, a something. I got to go check it out. Today is your day off, But it looks Sash. like a good one. Let somebody else scrape those streets of roadkill. But it's my job. How I bring home the bacon. Besides, I might miss out on something spectacular. You know, Claudia, in the world of roadkill, everything's one of a kind. Christ almighty, you make things so hard for me. Go ahead. Mosey, Claudia picks up, Claudia picks up the pet dispenser. I'm the decider. <laughs> hey, you. Tag sale? Uh-huh. So that means you're selling a bunch of tchotchkes you regret buying. Think you'll recoup your investment? Happy Fourth of July to you, too. Miss, you're sweating something fierce. This is heat. Isn't that scratchy? Heat rash, I guess. No, yeah, heat don't make me scratch. Heat makes me languid. The hotter it is, the more relaxed I become. It's like a summer today. Record breaking. That's what the weatherman said. Hottest July 4th ever? Hottest day ever, July 4th or otherwise. Well, you should distract yourself from this inferno by perusing my tags. Yeah, I have enough frippery already, thank you. How about this petrified dinosaur dog? No, thank you. Steven Seagal's solo album? Nope. <laughs> the collected novels of William Shatner? You bought that? Read them too. They're gripping. Intrigue. Prices are negotiable. What's all this? Masterpieces. Looks like roadkill to me. This is the finest taxidermical work you'll ever find. Yeah? You see that movie Pet Cemetery? Yeah. Yeah, remember that zombie cat? Spitting image. You make these? My spouse. Mm. Genius work. Why don't you take some? This uh, wolverine, a rare beast, $20. Yes, yeah, it'll scare my daughter. We can file down the incisors. Fifteen. Ten. Maybe I'll bring in my Pomeranian. She's on her last legs. Might be nice to have her for posterity. I'll pray for her demise. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Take this hamster. Hmm? Five bucks. Hmm. It'll <laughs> smile from your dashboard. Or your desk. Yeah, it's cluttered enough as it is. Four bucks. I'll think about 350. it. Three fifty. I'm gonna take a walk around the block. I may mosey on back. I suppose that's a thanks, but no thanks. Correct a room. Happy fourth, Ben. Happy fourth. Don't take it personally, Claudia. Gotta cast a wide net. Tag sale! Fourth of July tag sale! Come get this cuckoo clock. A different bird sings every hour. Hey, this serenading fish above your mantle. <laughs> Here's a, a Chia pet, a, a Chia Obama. <laughs> uh, chisel your quads with this stationary bike out back. <laughs> Makes a most excellent clothing rack. <laughs> you can rock your bodacious bod in this Mr. T bikini. <laughs> I pity you fools for not apprehending the value of this Klingon language computer keyboard. <laughs> or this mine. Buy something already. <sighs> Getting tan beneath my clothes is so damn hot. My saliva in my mouth is steaming. Let's head indoors. Give myself pneumonia with that AC. Lock me in an igloo somewhere. Plunge me into that Arctic sea. Neckers. Frostbite me, baby. Prefer it to this hot ass day. But that money, it's out there. Fluttering in the breeze. Breeze? What breeze? The money's floating in the humidity. No fuel my ascent. But I'm weighed down with all this extraneous bullshit. This 
GRE study guide, this meditation pillow, this first aid kit. Tag sale! Fourth of July tag sale! It's odd. These trees are dropping their leaves. Is that an autumn activity, trees? Oh well. Tag sale! Tags! I hit the jackpot, baby. How can you be so excited in this heat? The weatherman called it record breaking. Record breaking, huh? So they say. Well, that record heat will bring us record profits. Fortune is paved to the streets, Claudie. And I was there to pick her up. A satch dumps out roadkill from the bag. This here's a windfall. There's an osprey, a quail, some starlets, an oriole, a pair of owls. It's lovely, Satch, but. Yeah, Claudie? That pile of critters are only dig us deeper in the hole. All that. Turpentine, they'll guzzle until you start selling. These will sell. Swift as molasses, huh? Lightning quick. Look here. Now I've got me a falcon, a dove, half a dozen sparrows. Haven't even been run over yet. What are those birds doing on the road? Just being dead. It's their occupation. <laughs> Take a look at this flamingo. Dead as a ouch! Dead. <coughs> Beaks scald my hands. Scalder is today. <laughs> Scorcher. Steamer. Uh, sizzler. Uh, blazer. Uh, blazer. Uh, broiler. A broiler. A broiler. A roaster. A roaster. A toaster. Uh, today's a toaster oven dialed up hot. <laughs> Woo! and my briefs. I'd go commando if I were you. <laughs> I am. You are. Yeah, I was that. Briefly. But then it gets zapped by the heat. The heat. Oh, the heat. My shirt's soaked. My bra. My pants. My sweat has breached the fiber of my denim. Jeans. I like jeans. But the grass wilts toward brittleness. So? <laughs> the sweat sizzles into steam on my skin. So? The windows warp, it's so damn hot. But these jeans are snazzy, Claude. They're Jordash, Satch. <laughs> they can't be snazzy. <laughs> my friends say they're snazzy. Friends. This here armadillo and this, um, <laughs> what do you, what do you think this was before it met God in a tired tread? Snatch, I grow tired of living amidst your gutted and stuffed menagerie. But my taxidermy is museum quality. These critters look more alive than when they lived. Who else in the world can boast such treasures? You mean flattened fauna inflated with a bicycle pump? No one. Yeah, mark my word, Claudia, one day all my taxidermy will be sold to the Smithsonian. And if they don't fight? Well, then I will open my own Smithsonian, but it will be called the Satchsonian. There will be one in every city between a wax museum and Ridley's Believe It or Not. <laughs> a franchise I will father, and we will be rich. Finally buy that jacuzzi. Ten of them. Twenty. Darling, one hundred if you want. Oh, oh the very thought makes me faint. One hundred jacuzzis colonizing my backyard. <laughs> They'll have to be stacked, one on top of the other. I'm gonna need a long ladder to get inside. But oh, that ecstasy of soaking in a hot tub 20 stories high, mm -hmm. with a Mai Tai and a daiquiri, and one in each hand, as I turn my nose up at the world below. That's gonna require a lot of dough. Mount. beyond our grasp. You have to be optimistic, Claudie. Reach for the stars. You can't reach for the stars from quicksand, Satch. And that's what we're in, and it sucks, and it sucks, and it won't let go. Quicksand? The bills, the elusive dreams. 
not a plan, Claudie. Believe in me. No one's coming to buy your taxidermy satch. No one even wants to look. I will climb up your fortunes. No one's buying. You just have to bury your routine, Claudie. Put more zest into your pitch. Zest? How? Just watch. <clears throat> Wield magic and medieval might with these Dungeons and Dragons pewter, pewter miniatures. Wait, why are we getting rid of these? You never painted them. I will. I swear. Satch. Fine, but how do I sell? Uh huh. Brand spanking new, these vintage wizards and trolls be the raddest kid on your block. And next, we have a. Even their right mind would buy a pop gun. You did. Lies. Delude yourself if you must. It shoots nothing. Not bullets, not buckshot, not even water. Just this stupid cork on a string. Couldn't even cripple a fly. A spatch shoots the gun. Pop. A bald eagle falls from the sky and lands on the ground dead. Then another, then another. Soon it rains bald eagles. Skies fall. <laughs> It's raining, it's pouring. Satch dances as the eagles fall. Come on, Claudie! What the hell? They dance, the eagles fall. It's raining, it's pouring. Hey, birdies, no more soaring. Everything's dead. It's all in your head. It's such a beautiful morning. The rain of eagles ends. The dancing evolves into a I took the last one. Well, get some more. When I'm done scratching. Can't wait that long. Oh, you must get out toward that pharmacy right now. Or Sat, are you listening to me? Oh, my. What? What are your eyeballs popping out of your cranium about? Not these bald eagles. No more lawn. You know what this means? My yard needs cleaning. I'm going to quit my job. Clear sign from above. With this bounty, I must devote myself to my art form full time. Full time? Overtime, maybe. And your job? With this bounty, I don't need roadkill. But those dollars, your paycheck. Claudia, why settle for dollars when diamonds have cascaded upon us? Diamonds? The birds! They're dead! Exactly! Well, if you quit your job, I'm quitting mine. Go right ahead. Vultures cry from off. Vultures! They circle above. Vulture scum. These eagles are mine, you hear? Come any closer and I'll... Claudia, they're not listening. They don't speak English, Satch. In that case... Doing. G give me that lightsaber to whack him with. It's made of foam. Well, they don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> On guard, vultures. Touche and all that jazz. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not working. We better grab my eagles and duck for cover. Satch grabs some birds and runs indoors. <clears throat> if you bald headed over. Ravens, don't scram. I'll whirl you around by the necks, poke out your eyeballs, and then pluck all your feathers and cram them up your butts. Sounds of vultures flying off. <laughs> That's what I thought, <laughs> bitches. Back to enters with birds and a large toolbox. Vultures are gone. What'd you do? Unleashed my charm. <laughs> You gonna taxidermy all those eagles out here? Power's dead. Call about it? I will. It would be a good idea. It would. <laughs> we'll get to it. Get to what? Um, your objective? It's my 
my objective. What, what you're seeking, the target of your pursuit. I'm not sure. <laughs> you better figure it out. Why? <laughs> Drive the play forward if you pursue it. <laughs> pursue what? Your objective. My objective? My objective? My objective is making beautiful taxidermical objects. He picks up an eagle. My, you are beautiful. The king of birds. Satch, you can't be handling that eagle. They're protected. Someone will think you shot it out of the sky. Well, God shot it, Claudie. God. <laughs> now give me that carving knife. Remember to clean it after. I don't like my stuff tarnished. Cutting into animals makes me feel so close nature, sinking my hands in the bowels of blood. I almost feel like we become kin. Satch throws the eagle's flesh and innards onto the sidewalk. Turpentine. Here. Fire water. Take it. Glass eyes. Uh, there's some googly eyes. Glass ones are all out. I guess they'll be eccentric. Like their maker. The second customer enters. My shoe. Uh, my shoe. Sell you this newly minted bald eagle? Oh, feathers make me sneeze. Might you mind if, um, if I, 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 I... Bought some of these highly coveted collectibles from our tag sale? <laughs> Why not at all? Today is your lucky day. I'm afraid bibelots won't sate my hankering. May I please have that piece of meat that's grilling on your sidewalk? That? Then I'll, uh, I'll pay you for it. Hey, why well you can just... How much you holding? For, 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 for 500, 17, 34 times. That'll do. Claudia, that's unethical. Business, Mon Buttercup, is business. Oh, that is delectable. Well, why don't you just buy a hot dog at the Circle K? Circle K has been ransacked. All that's left are candy wrappers and coffee grounds. Do you have any more meat? How much you got left? Gave you all my cash. Tough titty. Uh, I guess I have my wedding ring. Oh, Claudie. Sold! Second customer tosses his ring. <laughs> Claudie tosses eagle meat. Oh, thank you. Thank you! Second customer exits. Sad. Claudie. We are oh, rich! rich. <laughs> <laughs> Better get to getting those eagles. Skin the beast, stuff in the form. So shut the skin, repeat. Skin the beast, stuff in the form, show so shut the skin, repeat. Skin the beast, stuff in the form, so shut the skin. Word has it, you're grilling chicken. Eagle. Ooh. Pay up. Well, all I've got is this Rolex. I suppose that'll do. You're getting a steal, you know. <laughs> skin the beast, stuff in the form, so shut. Forget about the stuffing and sewing, it's all about liberating that flesh. Skin the beast! Skin the beast! Skin it, Sam! Skin it! I'm skinning, Claudia! I'm skinning as fast as I can! <laughs> Might you take a gold inglet for that poultry? Be my guest! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so damn hungry! But I ain't got nothing but this stack of euros. I doubt I'll ever be going there again with all those grounded plants. Take a look. Trying to jip me, huh? Feeling some diamond cufflinks. Give them. <laughs> more and more customers enter and exit, exchanging cash and riches for eagle meat. Skin the beast. Thank you very much. Skin the beast. Enjoy your meal. Skin the beast. Come back for seconds if you'd like. Well, that's all of them. That's it? That was a ton. My wrists are aching and my fingers are numb. Let's head in. In? We've got a yard full of stuff to sell. Well, all that bling you're wearing, you don't know when to say enough. Nope. Claudia arranges the tag sale item. Hey, don't you have work? I told you I'm quitting, starting today. You need to give notice. They'll notice if I don't show. <laughs> well, that ain't right, Claudia, all those little kids. Kids will play with bottle caps and be happy. But you're the star attraction. The birthday girl's the star attraction. A Steggy Wagasaurus themed birthday party without Steggy Wagasaurus? You can use their imagination. You'll break their heart. Make things so hard for me. Satch picks up two pieces of taxidermy. 
he animates them. Satch, remember the night we met? At the groove into the 70s party? How could I forget, Claudie? I was dressed to share. You looked sizzling. A sizzling skillet you were. And you were so sexy, dressed as Sonny Bono. Ah, oh, Claudia, you're making me blush. Your blushing conjures a song in my esophagus. Will you sing it with me, Satch? Oh, Claudia, I thought you'd never ask. They say we're young and we don't know. We won't find out until we grow. Well, I don't know if it's all true, cause you got me and baby, I got you, babe. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. In a cartoony sexorous costume. Holy Toledo. You knew what was coming. Gets me every time, though. Satch, I will never understand your sexual attraction to a cartoon dinosaur. I think he's like Bugs Bunny in drag, only prehistoric. <laughs> I love how that long, beautiful tail drags on the floor. In reality, a stegosaurus's tail hovered in the air for balance, like a cat. Says who? Paleontology people. Well, how do they know? They're smart. Well, my smarts say the dragon is superior to hovering, so drag that tail around, baby. Swish it. Sashay it. Can we do that out here? For the eyes of the world? Ain't, one, ain't no one around. Hey, Claudia, you hear me? I said ain't no one around. <laughs> so go on and... Those trees, they're smoking. Probably someone's BBQ. Oh, come on, baby. Swish, swish, sashay. Claudia swishes and sashays. <laughs> Ouch! I didn't think it could get any hotter around here. <laughs> you make my heart vault poles, baby. Hey, don't don't take your suit off. But I'm growing faint in here. The heat. Don't stop. And the itching. Please don't stop. I will sashay. Limply. Limply. <laughs> Limply. You better not fossilize <laughs> on me, Claudie. Stegosaurus <laughs> on life support. I'll defibrillate you. Just zip up that costume. Put, put on the mask. Oh, the hotness, Sash. You're the hotness, Claudie. The royal hotness. <laughs> Downright Arthurian. Go on, put on your mask. Please, please. And if it will please you. Claudie puts on the Stegosaurus mask and squishes. Satch rubs up against Claudie. Being vulgar. <laughs> it's love. Out here in the yard, it's kinky. Uncouth is what it is. It's not like a little peep show. Take it inside. Or no steggy for Satch. Satch loves steggy. Inside. Before you make me late. Yes, ma'am. Scene two. Inside the house. Taxidermed heads are mounted on walls. They are of they are of dubious quality and generally a small animal. Oh boy. Oh, or the things that happen behind closed doors. You're gonna make me tarry, Satch. <laughs> you weren't even wanting to go to that party. Now, come on, shake that tail, Steggy. Swish those spikes. Shake and swish. Sink, shake, swish. Shake and swish. Good morning, boys and girls. Oh. The sun is shining. <laughs> the birds are crying. The cars are driving. Factories are building, <laughs> the planes are flying, the clocks are ticking, everything's running on time. Body dances. It is a very innocent dance from a children's television show. Such masturbates. I'm your friend and you're my friend. Our friendship and laughter never ends. Holding hands, we will manage. All of the bruises and the scrapes. Here comes the sun. Everything's great. Airplanes and rainbows and butterflies and bees. Make so much honey for you and for me. Laugh and love. Give hugs by the pound. These bright sunny days will all 
Jesus. Child. Off to work. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Encore. <laughs> Satch has a sad moment. Satch looks at the taxidermist. <coughs> I know. It's very melancholy when Claudia goes away. <laughs> Tries the light switch. Power still dead. Makes a call. Phone's dead too. Ah oh, well. Satch arranges the taxidermed animals into a neat pile. What's all this dust coating your coats and your visages? <laughs> dust clings to everything. To the couch, to the television, to the taxidermy. Dust coats the world. Everything becomes dust. I flick a clipped fingernail onto the linoleum and it gets swept up with the particles of dirt and the particles of skin and the particles of particles and dust. I pluck a hair from my noggin. I de in the follicle. It falls to the floor. And I forget about it. We forget about dust. We forget to mow the lawn. We forget to change the kitty litter. We forget to throw up the Christmas tree until June. It appears bedecked in snow by then, but then as you lift it, poof, a dust storm. And then the whole house is covered in dust. The world, shoot, dust, shoot. Wait, I am dust, so they say, dust to dust. It's shooing the dust, shooing myself. If I shoo off the dust, does that mean I harbor fantasies of self-annihilation? If I buy a dust buster, is that really a revolver to my head? Should I banish cleaning products from my abode? Is that why we've fallen behind as a species? Because we quarantine ourselves from bacteria and dust mites? Are germs, in fact, responsible for Beethoven's knife and the theory of relativity and every other act of human genius? What is it like to be dust? On that note, what is it like to have a tail? To be six-legged? A hundred-legged? What does it feel like to spin a web? To breathe through gills? To grow from a tadpole into a toad? How does it feel to incubate your offspring in your mouth? What is it like to have wings? Throws up a taxidermed bird. It falls, thud on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, the law of gravity. That's what you avians risk with those wings. <laughs> we bipedals, lowly, landlocked slugs, look what we can do. Ladies and gentlemen, the law of gravity. Throws himself onto the floor. Defied. Stands. Ladies and gentlemen, the law of gravity. Of gravity. Throws himself onto the floor. Defied! Stands. <laughs> Damn, floor, too hard for your own good. Get some padding. Ladies and gentlemen, the law of gravity. Throws himself onto the floor. Defied! Sash tries to get up, but can't. My body's all sore now. There's mold on that ceiling. Mold's Dusk's second cousin. Where you've got one, the other lurks near. I see you, Mold, crouching in that corner up there. You look rather like Einstein, or Hendrix, or Angela Davis. Someone with poofy hair, electric hair. If Einstein was here, I'd plug my appliances into his row. I'd blow dry my hair, make coffee, and vacuum all at once. Well, that Mold might become an attraction. The centerpiece of my museum. A museum within a museum. Like a Russian doll, spot of old shrine nestled inside the Saxonian Hall of Taxidermy. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. One day, the Saxonian will house my mammoth, carved back from Siberia. People will pay to see that mammoth, even more to eat it. Mammoth steak, mammoth burgers, mammoth tacos, mammoth pizza, chili con mammoth, <laughs> fettuccine al mammoth bolognese, 
Damn, I'm hungry. <laughs> Any eagle meat left? Well, what happened to the birthday party? Nobody was there. The house was empty. All the house was left empty. <coughs> Bad ways, too. Guess everyone's left town for the holidays. Guess so. I hope you'll get paid. Well, those pennies ain't nothing to fret about. Cause I got my bling! I got my ring! I got my Benjamins! Claudia adorns herself the, with the riches, riches the customers left. Call me Cleopatra. Please. Call me Oprah. <laughs> Double please. Call me Priscilla. Queen of the desert. This place doesn't become a desert. I know, hence Priscilla. Obvi. <laughs> what are you clutching in your hand? A bulb from the garden. Why? Nutrition. You're just gonna pop it in your mouth. Slice it paper thin. Saute it with garlic, tarragon, cayenne pepper, of course. Garlic's gone, baby. Are you trying to provoke weeping with your words? You think garlic's absence is gonna heartbreak me? Oh no, I can do without garlic. How are you gonna do without power? You didn't call yet? Phone's dead. Damn electric stove! I told you we should have bought a gas one. Oh well, we didn't. A lot of things we didn't do. Never flew in a hair hot air balloon. Never made a gingerbread house. Never finished Clan of the Cave Bear. Don't worry. Started it five times. <laughs> it's above you. Never learned to roller skate. Never got that cavity taken care of. Hey, maybe we should pause the play. Pa pause it? Give us some time to mollify our regrets, and tie up loose ends and such. If we did that, I could finally fish finish the Cub Scouts. But. Uh, how will we accomplish such a feat, putting things on pause? It'll be difficult. This play is moving at warp speed and all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try the remote. This little light isn't blinking when I press the button. <coughs> the batteries are probably dead. I suspect there aren't any more. You suspect who? Guess I'll just eat my bulb then. Where's that knife? Has that crack in the ceiling grown? You're obsessed with that crack. It looks like the Mississippi now. I like my surface is smooth, uninterrupted. Go fill it in. You bought cock. Afraid not. What are you talking about, afraid not? I got distracted by the ice cream truck that day. Oh well. Sorry you can't cook it, ain't ya? Food's better for you raw, cleaner in the mouth. So that's not food. Mmm, bet you're jealous. With my mouth full of air? No, my, my jealousy is withered up. Hey, Satch, did you hear something? Nope. Sounds like creaking. It's just the wax in your ears doing slow gymnastics. <laughs> hey, how does that bowl taste? Like Nirvana. Nirvana, my ass. Give me a taste. Uh-uh. A nipple. Sorry, you. A morsel. Dig up your own damn bowl. Fine. Such sits. Well? I'll get to it. <laughs> In a minute. When I'm good and- Such nods the bulb from crying. Spit out that bulb or I'll gouge your eyes out. I'll kick your shit. I'll kick your hair. Don't you dare play dirty. I'll slam my knee where the sun never shines. Well, you'll be the one who suffers from that. I reap those benefits in you. And years. you never will. Ow, quit popping my ears. Stop twisting my nipples. No more tugging on my lips. Enough stomping my toes. He's pinching my love. Knock off flicking my nose hairs. You're blowing boogers all over my hands. I hate it when you do that. It was self-defense. Your booger flinging calls for... Punishment? La femme de menage. Anything. Anything but I gave you steady didn't hold back. I just trudged two miles through the sweltering air wearing a ton of styrofoam and felt it itching my ass off. I earned my treat. 
Can't massage your feet. You will. After. You make things so hard for me. <laughs> Claudia rips off the steady costume. She pummels and kicks it. She tries to defecate in the head. <laughs> Not gonna do it. Satch enters wearing a French maid outfit. Claudia whistles. Satch cleans and dusts the house, making very provocative poses. Shower Satch. I said go and take a stupid shower and wash your stuff instead of that stupid slime! I'm hungry. Claudia, I'm hungry. Lick yourself. Satch licks all the liquids and condiments. Get impeccable. God, is that the itching we've been feeling? Don't blame me for your itching. Satch, let me get a closer look. It's probably a rash from all that crap you hurled on me. This ain't no rash I've ever seen. Why didn't you notice when I was dancing? You were dancing. You, you blinded me with your moves. Maybe rub some cortisone on that to speed it along. Even a scar will fade eventually, mostly after ignoring it for a few years. A loud crash. An airline pilot falls through, falls through the roof and through the floor. <laughs> Better call the roofer. Well, once the phone's fixed. And a floor or two. Knocked a hole in the floor. Linoleum needed replacing long ago. The hole in the floor mirrors the hole in the roof. Good design there. <laughs> I hear. What? There's life down there. You can open it. Let me get the gun. No rounds. Of course I'm going to use rounds. There are none. I meant to get the rounds when I bought the cock. Roll it, pin at least. Take this, Claudia. How are you going to arm me with a spatula and give yourself a rolling pin? This ain't even metal, it's a bendy sword. There's a man down there. We 
We should lift him out. Don't be hasty. He might attack us. We should leave him down there. That's cruel. No. It's time for the old heave ho. Insist. Well, let's get to it. What, what are you doing? Stretching.
It's Einstein up there. Einstein. Don't you see him? He looks more like Don King to me. You're going to sell admission either way. The mold is moving its snails down the wall. It's made up packed with gravity. It, it defies gravity as well. It spreads across the ceiling slowly, slowly, imperceptible, almost amazing. What you notice when you're a shattered heap on the floor. Your walls need a new coat of paint. Bobby, I'm hungry. Suck your thumb. Eat your thumb. The mold <laughs> ascends, the dust, the sun. Claudia. What? My stomach, it rumbles. Mine too, Satch, mine too. The mold descends slowly, like a mountain's movement. The spores flutter, seduced by gravity. I feel the spores descend upon my skin. They tendril microscopically into my dermis. Given time, a cotton haze will enshroud my organism. I will be a fungal cloud creature, mold made into man. Those white filaments will penetrate my hippocampus. They will bring clarity at last. He looks dead. Not yet. Those were some mighty last words. Pretty confusing. <sighs> Finally got your jacuzzi, Claudie. You, doubting all these years. You have surmounted the insurmountable. You have authored the most splendiferous piece of taxidermy of your entire career. Actually, it looks like what it's supposed to. Why, thank you, lovey. Sat reveals the pilot, taxidermy. <laughs> Pity all those grounded planes. Siberia, I guess I'll never set my feet on these. Blame the heat. And the snow, the rains, the hurricanes. Right as I finally bought my ticket. A rare specimen, that airline pilot. <laughs> Almost as extinct. <laughs> we should call Sotheby's. Don't you mean eBay? Sotheby's. You've graduated to a new level, Satch. Where's the phone? The phone's dead, Claudia. Still? Yes. We should. Claudia writes a note and then ties it to a taxidermist bird. Sotheby's. Somewhere in New York, I guess. Fly! Fly! Claudia throws the bird. It falls to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so much for my carrier pigeon. I'm hungry. Is there any eagle meat left? Sold out. There's other meat. You work plenty. Earned it, you have. You've watched plenty. 
commits the injustice. Sai responds in kind. Claudia responds in kind. They engage in a war of obscene gestures. <laughs> Thank you for the accident of nature that brought it to our hands and soon our gullets. This meal will nourish and fortify. May we use the strength that it bequeaths us. Bada to boom, bada bing, grace. <laughs> Awfully generous of the pilot to fall through our roof and die in our kitchen. The saint he was. I eat this meat. And as I digest it, it becomes my meat. The pilot's muscle will become my muscle, and his arms will incorporate into my arms. Does that mean I will inherit his thoughts, his secrets, his sins? Don't think about that. Just enjoy. You're so wise. A real pity we never learned his name. <laughs> you know, Claudia, these scraped together scraps sure be eating out. Wolfgang Puck, suck my. <laughs> Use civilized language at the dinner table, please. We got any wine to accompany this feast? No wine. Well, what about water? Spigot's still sterile. You could lick some of those sticky stains in the fridge. I'm just pee in my glass. That's gross. <laughs> so is the playwright. Truer words. <laughs> Satch starts to get out of the jacuzzi. Where are you headed? If I hold up this wine glass under the sky, maybe I'll catch a few droplets. Droplets of what? Rain. Long time since it rained. Long time indeed. Shall I do a rain dance? Seriously? You never know. Satch does a rain dance. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing doing. Write some goddamn rain into this stupid now, play. Now, now, my peppermint queen, don't burst a vein. Peppermint. Peppermint makes me crave. Dessert. <laughs> you know, these tumors are shaped kind of like apples. Fruit is the healthiest dessert. Satch cuts off his own tumor. <laughs> that hurt? It stings sweetly. Bon appetit. They eat the tumor. <laughs> we'll this. We just gotta keep chewing. <laughs> Lottie? That? I do believe the only thing that would make me happier is if you'd sing my favorite song. I'm retired from that sad. Or just this once. Bring a smile to my cheeks. Only if you join in. <laughs> Airplanes and rainbows and butterflies and bees made so much shiny for you and for me. Laugh and love. Give hugs by the pound. These bright sunny days will we'll always be round. <laughs> That's it, that's the end of the song. Yeah. Does that mean the play is over? It should. <laughs> it really should. <laughs> you know, this jacuzzi is not very exciting with that water jet. <laughs> end of play. <laughs> Festival. Uh, if you want to stick around, uh, in a couple of minutes we're going to have a little conversation about the play. 
Uh, we will also have some wine if you like. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for coming. Tell your friends about Risk of This. Uh, next week we have Ondine, same spot right here. And of course, Ubuwa is still running for uh, one more full week in our theater. So thank you so much. Have a good and night. And this cast performs again tomorrow night, same time. So Absolutely. You just tell your friends. Okay. Or if you didn't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> just get right back in. And some of us are in communicate coming up very soon as well. Mm -hmm. So many plugs! I know, so many plugs. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. We're going to have a conversation in a couple minutes. Uh, have a good night.